welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a very nice word problem which is 37.5 percent of a number is 450 then what is 87.5 of that number see now understand lot of people did not understand or they could not do this literally under one minute the reason for that was that they got stuck in calculating now let's try and focus on this particular statement so we'll say 37 0.5 upon 100 right percent is nothing but what dividing that number by 100 off means what A, multiplication let that number be what m is equals to 450 correct so from here i can say therefore m is equals to 450 into 100 upon 37.5 now they are saying what will be 87.5 percent of that number means what of m so let's do this 87.5 upon 100 into instead of m we will do what 450 into 100 upon 37.5 okay so what we are getting is this is cancelling now see the decimals will go away because this is eventually what divided by 100 and this will also be divided sorry divided by 10 and this is also divided by 10 so the tens will cancel so now i can say 875 into 450 upon 375 okay now what you will do is we will try and um, divide both of them by 25 okay so what you are getting over here is ones are and then fives are and this you are getting it as what uh, ones are and you are left with what 25 when taken away from 45 you get 220 correct so that is 18 za, correct now this is five three fives are and three six za, five ones are and we can do this as one seven and 5. So the answer for this one will be what? 175 into 6. Therefore, I can say that is nothing but what? 0, 3 carry, 5, 4 carry, and 1050 zero, zero is your answer. Students, while explaining, yes, I can exceed 1 minute, but but while solving, see, a lot of people messed up here. They ended up solving this value. You don't have to solve this value. Trust me. When you have to do further calculations, a lot of things will cancel, like how hundreds got cancelled, the decimal also went away. So you just had to deal with what, 875 into 450 upon 475 and it's much easier when you know a lot of tables, okay. So if you want to be very good at math, tables is your go-to point. And if you are a bit stuck on that, I have definitely made a video on that, so please go ahead and check it out. Okay, that's it for you today. I will see you in the next video.